Shut up and sit down. Hey, hello YouTube. Welcome to my channel. I am the Cyber Group Guru. Thank you for watching. This is a follow-up, uh, what I would characterize to the follow-up of the follow-up of the fidgety spinner. And so I've been playing around with these things now for longer than I care to admit. And I just want to do a quick follow-up on some kind of some things I learned. So first off, right off the bat, uh, the Prusa I was over extruding, um, or I was adjusting for what I thought was under extrusion, and, and it turns out it is under extruding. But it turns out when I extrude quote unquote the proper amount, um, it actually uh, the size of the parts are too small. And if you're printing two parts that go together, it's fine because they're equally um, sized, as it were. Um, well, at least so far that's what I believe to be true. But for these spinners, um, from the previous video, I'll link it um, somewhere where to be over there. Uh, I learned that the uh, over extrusion was causing the, the holes for the spinners to be too small. And so uh, when you got one of these spinners here, these were not uh, was it 22 millimeters. They were actually more like 21 and a half, which made it way too small to fit in there easily. Um, so I started printing it at 1.0 extrusion width, and uh, they're kind of spot on. In fact, uh, let me get the caliper out. Let's see, I just printed this one. Um, so they're 2188, um, so they're uh, 21.95, 21.95, um, depending on, there's a little bit of elephant toe on, on these, 22.06, um, depending on where you measure from, so um, 22.04, so they're spot on. Uh, relatively speaking. So what I did is I went out and I bought some uh, more bearings. I got this uh, 100 pack of bearings from, from Amazon which were ostensibly the same bearings that I had purchased before that were working pretty well except for a different seal. Um, and so you can see here uh, these are the bearings. Let me see if I can uh, maybe get this guy to focus a little. Let's see. There you go. So uh, those are the bearings. Uh, they're VBX bearings. Uh, I think that's what it is. VBX, VXB bearings. Uh, it's what I had before. These are, uh, they, they've got, uh, these are, let's see, the uh, 6082RS as opposed to the ZZ, which have the metal bearings. And I think, uh, I'm sorry, a metal, metal seal. Um, if I can get this guy out of here, I'll show it to you uh, what the difference is. There's a long, sorted, complicated straight to this. Uh, okay, well, I just broke that guy. So you can see these are the metal seals here as opposed to the uh, rubber seals there. So, um, okay, so uh, the, according to the website, they're identical in terms of performance and a variety of other things. So I will show you. These are the original metal ones that I'm using on my uh, filament uh, spool, right? And so you spin them. They spin pretty well. They're nice and smooth. Don't make any noise. They spin fairly long, right? So same spinner. Um, this is the uh, black seal or the um, RS version so well <laughs> you can see they don't spin nearly as long so did a little research on the internet turns out sometimes these things come with some thick grease baked into them and so um, you got to clean the, the grease out of them so this is what I did so I took the seals out you can see here let me uh, again zoom in camera magic here you can actually see there's actually two different types of bearings um, I wore it all the same but this one here uh, this one here is different you can see it's metal capped as opposed to does not have the metal cap like the uh, other one so uh, I really don't know how that happened but um, it's just random so what I did is I took the the seals out these are the exact same bearings that are here um, and the one that's in the center of this guy here Right, um, and took the seals out, and instantly they felt looser. And then I degreased them with a little bit of rubbing alcohol um, or denatured alcohol, which is what I had. And what you'll see is, um, well, they spin a lot better. <laughs> um, again, let's put this in context if I can uh, 
spin that guy and this guy kind of at the same time you can see take the seals out degrease them they spin nicely now what I will tell you is uh, according to the stuff I found on the internet uh, you guys got to put the seals back in and they'll be fine put the seals back in and they spun about as well as these guys something like that I so it wasn't the grease that was causing the problem uh, according to what the internet said um, it was the grease but you can see uh, I left the bearings out and because they've got the plugs in the middle here um, you know my finger is apparently not long enough to do it this way unlike my significant other but uh, um, so a little rant rave I don't know how you want to put it um, uh, the original bearings I got were really fantastic. Um, they were more expensive by almost four times. But uh, look, you pop the bearings for this, right? Pop the pop the seals, uh, degrease the bearings, um, and you get something that spins a long, long, long time. Um, so a little word uh, with buyer beware. Uh, if you get the cheap bearings, you might end up with something like this. Um, even though all the specs were the same, I gotta say, if I were actually purchasing these for a purpose that needed uh, free-flowing bearings, I would be a little annoyed. Um, probably more than a little. Uh, but I'm not, because it's just for a fidgety spinner. Right? So there you go. Um, so there, that's the follow-up. Um, I did make, by the way, I'll post this on Thingiverse, some bearing cleaners. You pop the bearings on here, throw them in some oil, and shake them around, and whatever. I learned that even though I made this, you don't need this. You just throw them in the solution, shake them around, um, uh, let them sit. Uh, what I found is you let them sit for 10 minutes, shake them around every once in a while, um, take them out, spin them around, throw them back in, um, shake them up some more for another 10 minutes or so. It decreases them pretty well with alcohol. I haven't tried anything other than alcohol, so, um, so that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, as always. Um, if you don't like it, then I appreciate the thumbs up anyway, and any comments, leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks everyone, have a great night.